What's up everyone, it's Stacko Cakes, and this is another Madden 17 video. This is a video about uh, the best budget running backs. Uh, the big question is, how much is a budget running back? Uh, you can get a gold anywhere from, you know, 1,000 to 15,000. So I'm trying to find the, the best value for the money. And uh, to start off with, we're just going to start off with LaShawn McCoy, of course. He's got 86 speed. 84 carrying, uh, ball carrier vision 92, juke move 93. So you can see rough to bat, he's one of the elite running backs. And uh, he's going for about 4,000, 3,900 right now, which is good value considering there's a lot of uh, low golds and silvers that have really good stats and are selling for more than Murray. So we'll, we'll get to, I mean, uh, more, more than McCoy. We'll get to those guys later. So I'll start off by saying McCoy, great great back to start off with. So let's go on to the next one. Next guy I'm going to bring up is Chris Ivory. Here we go, Chris Ivory. And you'll, you'll see right now, he's, he's, he's really cheap. Oh, 700, buy it now. So you can see Chris Ivory stats right here. 86 speed, 87 carrying. Ball carrier vision 87. Look at this trucking 91. He just runs over everybody. It's a, and he's really cheap too. You can't go wrong with 700 coins, right? Okay, let's go on to the next guy. Next guy is CJ Anderson. I was kind of debating whether or not to put CJ Anderson on here because his uh, his speed is only 85. Let's see. But his other numbers are so good. So look, so you can get him for 1,000. There's a 1,200 now. See, his speed's 85. I wish it was just a little bit more. But 85 speed, 88 carrying, which is really good. Trucking, 86. Juke, 83. Ball carrier vision, 87. The one key with uh, with the cards coming up is the ball carrier vision thing and awareness. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious, like, how much of a difference, like, ball carrier vision and awareness make because there's a lot of guys you'll see later like Jarek McKinnon and Latavius Murray who have lower ball carrying vision and awareness and, I, and I'm just curious I'm I think that makes a big difference because that's that's all about like hitting the holes and stuff like that I, I've done some reading up about it and uh, it seems that like you know like a player like uh, Deshaun McCoy who has like a 92 uh, ball carrier vision would hit the holes a lot easier than somebody like Jarek McKinnon. But it seems that based on the prices of these running backs, that people are just looking at the pure stats, such, such as like speed and carrying, and they're not really looking at the vision. So it kind of comes down to how important is vision and awareness. So we'll, we'll just keep on going and see. But this CJ Anderson card, it's got 85 speed, which isn't that great. But uh, the rest of the numbers are all good. Like, 88 carrying, and he's got 87 vision. Okay, we'll go on to the next guy here. We're going to bring up Latavius Murray. So bring him up. Okay, we'll go by by now price 2300 for Latavius Murray. Let's see, like he's got 89 speed, which is great. Look, agility great, acceleration great. Carrying 84, ball carrier vision is a little bit lower, right? Trucking and, and juke move both in the 80s. Ball carrier vision 84. See, there's really good stats in this card. 2300 buy it now. But the, the big question is when you're comparing this to like a Lashawn McCoy. Uh, pretty sure that to get that higher ball carrier vision with Lashawn McCoy, I think if you want to spend like this this money on the Tavius Murray, you might as well just go to like Lashawn McCoy, in my opinion. But uh, it seems that uh, a lot of people use Latavius Murray. A lot of people use the guy I'm going to bring up next, Jarek McKinnon. So uh, you can see 2300 for Latavius Murray. He's got unreal stats right there. It's just that ball carrier vision is the only one that's just kind of sticking there. And it's just kind of like, you know, that uh, that really keeps me from pulling the trigger on him personally. But by looks of the forms and everything, people love to use Latavius Murray, so they, they ignore the ball carrier vision, I guess. But uh, on the next guy, it's going to be Jarek McKinnon. And 
And he's four thousand. Wow, four thousand. See, so he's he's the same price as Lashawn McCoy. So uh, you see his speed, eighty nine. Carrying is amazing, eighty nine. Just that ball carrying vision right there, eighty one. Like oh man, and that's even lower than uh, Latavius Murray. So with this thing again, it's like four thousand coins. Uh, he's got the great speed and carrying, but is, is that is that enough to uh, to make up for the ball carrier vision of eighty one? Uh, I personally would go for LaShawn McCoy in this instance, but uh, Jerick McKinnon's a very popular card. So if you're looking for a guy with lots of speed and good carrying, then Jerick McKinnon's definitely one of the guys you want to look at. He's kind of pricey though, 4,000 4, coins. Let me go to Ezekiel Elliott next. Twenty two hundred for Ezekiel Elliott. Good speed, eighty nine. Carrying eighty four. Ball carry vision eighty nine. Juke move eighty four. You can you can get a guy that's a little, little better than this, but twenty two hundred is not too bad price for this. He's a very popular player to use. Uh, I I personally don't use him, but I can see why people would. He's got some good uh, stats here, but but again, when you compare him to uh, a guy like Lashawn McCoy or something like that. I'd still go with the Sean McCoy in this in this instance. Uh, some of the other guys that I was gonna bring up that uh, a lot of people like are guys like uh, Charlie Sims. Let's see here. Seven Charles Sims, seven fifty. Buy it now. See, he's got great stats: eighty-seven speed, eighty-two carrying. Is the only thing that scares me though. Right, the 86 ball vision is, is good enough. The juke move 86, really good. But see, that carrying is 82. So you, if you use this guy, you might have some fumble problems. I, I don't know about that. Uh, he is a very popular player to use, though, especially his uh, his team hero version of his card. But for right now, 750 for this, 87 speed, and juke move 86. Yeah, it's uh, you can't go wrong with that. Nice cheap card. Next guy we're going to look at is uh, Rawls. But Rawls already is priced out of out of our range for this. I'm pretty sure most people have caught on with Rawls. He's got great stats. Yeah, see, 8,700 is the cheapest one. He's a 74 overall. Look at that. He's got 88 speed, 87 carrying, 88 ball carrier vision, high truck and high juke. Yeah, 8,700. So everyone's caught on to this. They've, they've made this 74 gold, 8,700 coins. So that's basically priced out of this whole budget running back thing. But uh, he, he was another guy to look at for potentially to be a, a budget running back. But it seems everybody everybody's on the Thomas Rawls train. So his price has skyrocketed. 8,700. He's way too much. Now we'll go back down to another guy whose price is uh, through the roof. David Johnson. Okay, that is the wrong one. So we'll go to Cardinals. Here we go. Seventy-one hundred is the cheapest. David Johnson. He's got the great speed again. Good carrying, eighty-four ball carry vision, eighty-nine. Great juke move, great trucking, great. Only problem with this card though, seventy-one hundred coins. So if you're looking at uh, getting a running back, you know. Is this 7,100 coin purchase of David Johnson better than a LaShawn McCoy of 4,000? Probably not, no. But uh, he's got that high speed and the card looks really good. But uh, yeah, he's definitely overpriced. And his uh, hero card seems to be the best hero card on the market right now. So uh, it's definitely a good good card to get if you could. But it's still, it's priced out of the range for our, our talking right now. And uh, go check another guy. We're gonna go check for Andre Ellington. It's another card that, uh, oh, I spelled it wrong. I wonder if it still works. It still works. 1500. So you see from the stats 87 speed, 83 carrying, 86 ball vision, which is. Pretty good, you know. Uh, Juke move 90. Pretty good stats, 1,500. 
it's a good price on that. Uh, it's a lot, it's a lot cheaper than the other big running backs. But uh, when you're spending this money on a running back, you might as well just upgrade to uh, McCoy or whatever, or even somebody like uh, Stewart, Jonathan Stewart. Let's let's check him out. I think Jonathan Stewart's gonna be around 3K. I'm just gonna check. There we go. Jonathan Stewart. Okay, buy now price. Is not working. That is the wrong one. Okay, here we go. 3,400. Okay, so speed 84. Speed's a little low. But good, got a good truck, got a good juke. Of course, they buy it out. Carrying 84. Ball carrying vision 92. See, so pretty good card. I'm looking at 34, 3,500 coins for that. But uh, with the running backs, as, as always, it just comes down to personal preference, really. If you put the stats for, for all these guys into, like, if you do a comparison of them, you'll see that the majority of these running backs are, like, pretty much all the same. I, I had, like, a big, huge, long list where I, I basically put the ones that had good speed, good carry, good vision. And uh, there's just a massive list of, of guys that have over 85 in, in, each, in each category. So it's kind of personal preference after that. Uh, personally, if I'm going to spend a bunch of money on a running back, I'd, I'd just rather get like uh, LaShawn McCoy who had the high vision, right? He, he might have a couple notches less of speed. He still has 86 speed overall. But uh, to get the couple extra speed or whatever, uh, I don't think it's worth giving up like 10 or 11 points of, uh, of like ball carrier vision and stuff like that and, and awareness. So, uh, but it's personal preference. Lots of people like to use Latavius Murray and Jarek McKinnon. But uh, yeah, I, I just thought I'd make this video and uh, show you guys the most popular running backs and the most, uh, the best running backs you can get for the money. And uh, I hope this video was of some use to you guys. If you have any comments, if I missed anybody that you think is a, is a good running back that you use personally, you know, put it in the comments, let me know. But uh, I hope this covered the main ones here and... Uh, Hope this helps you choose uh, your next running back. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.